Chief, you get to work up on Mount Charleston every single day. A lot of people come and visit it during the week and on the weekdays. What are some of the best activities that people come during the winter time? Well, during the winter time, we uh, can expect a lot of people to come up and recreate in the snow. Snow is a primary activity up there. Uh, sledding, skiing in the ski resort, snowshoeing, uh, backpacking in the backcountry, uh, those kind of activities up there. And what are then some of the dangers that you see that are, are uh, emergencies that you and other public agencies have to deal with? Well, our biggest m emergency uh, issues up in the Mountain Charleston area are people uh, snowplaying or sledding in between rocks and trees. And that becomes uh, one of our primary issues uh, uh, as far as responses to emergencies up in Mount Charleston. I know there's a couple areas that are very popular areas and there are signs and people seem to find those areas and are they allowed to park in that area? Correct, so uh, Lee Meadows, Lee Canyon area is uh, one of the primary uh, snow play areas that we call. Uh, there's a couple of campgrounds uh, managed uh, by the Forest Service and the ski resort and people are allowed to snow play and sled in some of those areas. What, what are some of the dangers? What are some of the things you're looking for? So some of the dangers uh, that we encounter is people uh, running or sledding into trees or rocks and suffer, suffering uh, minor injuries or broken, uh, broken uh, extremities. And obviously there is the, the road is right there too. I know there are barricades and things like that, but again, people really need to take caution when they're doing those activities. Correct, what we discourage people is uh, not sled next to the roads uh, because that creates an issue. People are, aren't able to stop in time just before the road and they actually end up on the road either hitting, uh, hitting a vehicle or hitting uh, an object, a stopped object. Quite often people will show up there and it's, gosh, it's not like they're in some great four-wheel drive car. They come there in a small car. What, give them some tips, give them some ideas of what they should expect, what, how they should be prepared when they drive up there. Sure. So the, the first uh, rec uh, suggestion that I make to the, uh, all the visitors of Mount Charleston is to make sure they're prepared for the Mount Charleston area. Uh, research what type of weather conditions are up in the mountain. Research uh, the road conditions themselves and make sure that they're prepared. Uh, warm clothes. Uh, good vehicle and good working conditions to make sure that they can make it up to the mountain and make it back. Keep in mind that also Mount Charleston does not have any fuel stations in the mountain. Uh, and make sure that you have good cell coverage. There's minimal cell coverage in the Mount Charleston area. Quite often, Chief, probably people aren't wearing the right clothes when they come up there. That's really probably a big mistake, right? Correct. So you can encounter uh, blizzard conditions, white out conditions up in Mount Charleston. So we encourage all the visitors to make sure that dress warmly, jackets, extra clothes, uh, blankets, and bringing uh, um, food and water uh, and any trip to the Mount Charleston area. Should you also alert people that maybe how long you're going to be up there, that you're planning a trip like that, or is that a good idea? It, it is always a good idea to let somebody know where you're going. Like I said, there's minimal cell coverage in Mount Charleston area. There is some public phones, but there's limited cell coverage in the area. So if you do break down or have an emergency, keep that in mind. So make sure you let a family member or a friend, let them know where you're gonna be at. Chief, you've got a great cooperation with all the agencies that work on the mountain. Tell me about the Mount Charleston Winter Alliance. Sure, this Winter Alliance was formed several years back uh, between all the public agencies that serve the Mount Charleston area. Uh, and the main core of the uh, alliance was to hopefully help the public help the residents and make sure that the safe operation of the mountain continues. What, um, what are some other tips that you would recommend for visitors? Uh, make sure they adhere to the traffic conditions, uh, obey all traffic uh, indications, uh, make sure that they do not park in, uh, on the roadway, make sure their vehicles prepared and ensure that the, they're ready for delays due to uh, large amounts of public or vehicles on the roadway. Have there been any incidents or near incidents up there on the mountain yet so far this year? We had some medical issues uh, so far, some medical incidents and uh, a large number of vehicle accidents due to the road conditions. So please make sure that you're prepared, make sure you re research the road conditions and your vehicle's prepared for the road conditions up there. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, it really is a great place to come. Obviously, you're not trying to discourage anybody to come up there. You just want people to be safe and to be, you be prepared on the front end of your trip. Correct. Preparedness uh, goes a long way for the Mount Charleston area. Uh, again, be prepared with the vehicle, the right vehicle, the right, cl right clothing, uh, right supplies, 
um, and make sure that you're prepared to uh, for delays on the roadway. Chief, even simple things like litter can can pile up there. Tell us, tell us what, tell us about that. Yeah, we encourage all the uh, visitors to, if you pack it in, please pack it out. All the uh, sleds, uh, garbage needs to be removed properly from the mountain to keep it clean for future visitors. And even the conditions can change as the day goes on. The day you might get a little snow, that snow can quickly turn to ice either on the hills or on the, on the roads, right? Correct. Be, uh, be aware of the conditions, look at the forecast, and be ready for any quick changes on the weather and the road conditions. It's been a couple of years since there were avalanche warnings and there was actually any evacuation of some of the folks that lived up there on the mountain. Talk to me a little bit about the dangers of that. So we need to make sure we're aware of the conditions, the snow conditions. Different weather patterns can create uh, the avalanche conditions up in the mountain. We're in coordination with the Winter Alliance and all the partners in the Mount Charleston area to keep make sure that the visitors and the residents are safe at all times. So we're coordinating and keeping an eye on the weather conditions on the slopes. And I know you've got a couple good websites that everybody, if they're considering visiting the mountain, should check out. Tell me, tell me about them. Make sure you visit uh, GoMountCharleston.com for any road conditions, weather conditions, and visitation areas uh, for all the public. Also, 511 uh, NV Roads, make sure you visit those sites for road conditions and any restrictions on the roadways. Thank you very much. Hope you have a safe winter up there in the mountain. Thank you, Chief. Thank you.